Well, there's no doubt that winter's on its way, but you may have some doubts as to what's the best tire to have on your Jeep for the winter. Well, we're going to talk about that and some other money saving tips. And in our subscriber segment, I won't be offering you a subscriber tip, but I'm going to be making a subscriber request. So stick around. So last weekend I drove 320 kilometers up north on maintained roads, but then when I got to my cottage, the last 350 feet of my driveway was unplowed and about a foot deep of snow. Now in a scenario like that, a Goodyear Wrangler Durotrack would certainly do the trick. However, most of us are going to be driving on maintained roads and we'll have loved ones in our Jeep and we'll want to make sure that we are as safe as possible. Would using the Goodyear Durotrack or KO2s still do the trick? Now if you read online on the forums and on some of the Jeep Facebook groups, you'll encounter people that say, I use them year round. They are three peak snowflake rated, so they're good for the winter. They've got the big lugs, there's sipes in the tread, so they're an all purpose tire. And I wouldn't argue with them. If it works for them, that's great. It certainly works if you're going on snowy trails. However, the conditions on maintained roads are going to be different than on the snowy trails or if you live in an area where you've got lots of powdery snow. Most of us are going to be on maintained roads and we'll be dealing with slush, we'll be dealing with ice, and the dreaded black ice. And that's where a dedicated snow tire, I believe, would suit your needs best. And it's not just me, I've read it on many forums as well as on some Facebook groups where people say they might have the all-terrain tires like the Duratrax or the KO2s or whatever and they love those but when it comes time for the winter they use a dedicated winter tire. The rubber is softer, the sipes help perform better on the conditions you have on the maintained roads and when it comes time to protect your loved ones you want to make sure you're doing the right thing. So in my opinion and backed by many others on forums a dedicated winter tire is the way to go. Now you'll find many articles on what's a good dedicated winter tire and I keep coming across the fact that Bridgestone Blizzax and Michelin X Ice are the two top tires for their performance and satisfaction of handling and from my experience I had the Bridgestone Blizzax I'd have to agree that they perform amazingly and I'm very happy with them and I feel very secure on those icy conditions. Now you could have four wheel drive and you think you're okay, but these dedicated winter tires help you stop and avoid an accident or help you avoid somebody getting hurt. And there's no four wheel drive system that will help you in a matter like that. You need proper tires. So that's just some information that I thought you might find helpful, but also if you do get something like the Bridgestone Blizzax like I have on mine, you got to keep in mind that they're a rotational tire, so they're designed to be installed a certain way. So on the passenger side, the arrow has to point in a clockwise direction. And when it comes time to rotate these, like for example, if you do 8,000 kilometers in the winter, then the following winter you want to rotate them and this is a directional tire type of rotation pattern you can see here from my tire rotation video what that means and you can go check it out if you wanted to learn more about that so now let's move on into the tip segment where i can share with you some other money saving tips when it comes to equipping yourself with winter tires now for some cheaper jeeper tips one way you could justify having a dedicated set of winter tires, aside from the fact that it is the safest way to go, is that it'll help your upgrade to your rims and your larger tires last longer. And you could buy your winter tires on sale and then use your stock rims. And another way you could save money is when you buy your winter tires on sale, you can mount them to the less expensive steel rims that actually don't look too bad like you can see here on Dieter's Jeep. And 
then of course, last but not least, you could find takeoffs online from people who have taken off their stock rims and wheels and the such because they upgraded to aftermarket. And with those, you get alloy rims that look pretty good. You get the TPMS sensors and then the wheels that come on them, you could use them in the summer and then put your winters on those. So there's lots of options out there to help you get the proper dedicated winter tires and try to save some money while you're doing that. And now it's time to move on to our subscriber tip segment where I'm not going to be sharing a subscriber tip, but I'm actually going to be making a request. Let's have a look. And now for subscribers tips. For those of you who are new to the Cheaper Jeeper TV videos, I normally put a subscriber tip in this segment, but in this segment, for this video, I'm going to be placing a request to any of you viewers or subscribers who've seen the video on the Cheaper Jeeper TV sleeping camping platform and have made it for yourself. Any mods or any alterations that you've made, if you would like to share, my intention is to make a culminating video of what people have done in their Jeeps for camping and I'd like to use some of your ideas. So if you'd like to send any drawings, images, videos, or even just descriptions, feel free to send them to cheaperjeepertv at gmail.com and I'll try to put them in the video. And it'll be launched in the springtime, just in time to give other people ideas so they can get ready for the next year's camping season. Thank you very much. Hey, so that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. Thank you for watching, and remember to give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. So until next week, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.